Second day of Australian Open qualifying 2018, first round women's qualifying. We have a fascinating matchup for you here from Australia. 19 year old Sarah Tomic against the 18 year old Russian Sofia Zuk. We've seen plenty of Sarah Tomic in qualifying over the years here at the Australian Open. Sofia Zuk, Wimbledon Junior Champion in 2015. I can actually talk to you if you have one. At the other time, you're on the same side, they can actually talk globally. On the opposite side, they can make signals, not allowed in between first and second serves. You have 25 seconds in between points, and there will be a short slot showing you. And if the, if you're late, the first offense is a warning. Second one afterward, if your server is lose a serve, if your receiver is lose a point. Okay. Anything else you need to know? You're happy? Okay, then machine is on. Uh, heads, please. Okay. Heads. Um, oh, sorry. You serve? Oh, you stay. So it will be. Sophia Suk to serve, 18 years of age, junior Wimbledon winner, 2015 over Anna Blinkova, 7564. A winner of six ITF finals, harking back to 2014. Trains at the Justine NN Academy and in major Grand Slam draws made uh, only the first round of qualifying at Wimbledon last year but played in the first round of the US Open last year so really on the way up here Sophia Zook. Sarah Tomic has contested qualifying here at the Australian Open three years 2014 2015 2016 a semi-finalist as a junior here in 2016 and also a semi-finalist in doubles as a junior here at the Australian Open in 2015. Of course, sister to Bernard Tomic, who's also contesting qualifying here in the men's draw of the Australian Open. So a bit warmer now, 27 degrees, quite a humid day, still day, beautiful blue skies in Melbourne, perfect for tennis. And Elena Dockage is just lapping up the weather here in uh, <laughs> Melbourne, our Melbourne girl. And I think this is a really interesting one. Yeah, very interesting one. Um, two young girls and, uh, yeah, not too much experience uh, at no. this level, both of them. Uh, you've pretty much said it all, Sophia Zuk. Yeah, she's an up-and-coming player. Um, there's been a bit of talk about her. Uh, she won the junior Wimbledon. Uh, in 2015 as a 15-year-old. really came from nowhere. Too. Yeah, it came from yeah. nowhere. Nowhere. That was, uh, yeah, that was two years ago, two and a half years ago. Uh, steady progress. She's ranked 181, has been as high as 139 a couple months ago um, and has mainly played on the lower level ITF circuit, won a couple of um, ITF titles and are qualified for the US Open uh, first time last year. So that was the first time she's ever qualified for a Grand Slam. And uh, yeah, Sarah Tomic. Um, Three minutes. Bernard Tomic's sister. I uh, actually know her quite well. I worked with her for a couple of months a few years ago um, and uh, hit with her a little bit and helped her out a little bit. And uh, yeah, she's been playing on the ITF circuit for a few years now um, and is 19 years of age, at 20 in a couple of weeks' time. She's ranked 433 in the world highest, was 379 six uh, months ago, sorry, uh, a year and a half ago, and has a couple of ITF titles to her name herself. So, should be an interesting match. So, it's the first time these players have met as well. Which can always be the first... Uh, Meeting can be a bit tricky, you know, first few games, just uh, feeling out each other's games, etc. What would you uh, say are the, you know, the main attributes of Two Sarah minutes. Tomic's game? Well, look, she, she hits the ball well, she times the ball well. Her back end is definitely her strength. And if there is a shot that kind of breaks down a little bit uh, when things get tight, it's definitely her forehand. She's got a solid serve as well. And, uh, you know, I think for Sophia, she'll probably have to, I think, expose a little bit the Sarah Tomic movement um, and that forehand. So 
those are just a couple things. But she hits the ball very nice, very clean. And that she's very aggressive. She likes to, to be aggressive, take the ball early. And uh, sometimes she'll keep the points quite short. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Because you can sometimes draw some errors from her racket. So for her, I think it's just about being maybe a little bit patient. when you haven't played someone and you don't know them so well even if you've maybe watched them play or watched them practice it's very different when you get out there on the court and you haven't played them I mean most of the time most of the girls know each other they've, they've either practiced with each other or at some stage we pretty much play you know everyone on the tour but these girls are young they're up and coming they haven't been on the tour that long so there are still opponents that obviously they have played seconds. against. And this is one of those matchups. So it'll be interesting what happened in the first couple of games. Cecilia Alberti from Italy. Our chair umpire. It'll be Sofia Zuck to serve in this uh, first round women's qualifying. 96 competitors in the draw for the singles qualifying and we get it down and of to uh, 12 for the main draw and of those 96 competitors up to eight wild cards 88 direct acceptances it's a lot of players gone in only a couple of days going into a grand slam you mentioned uh, sophia zook having that uh, experience in the us open the first round how much of a different feel is it when you're a young player and you're playing your first match in a, in a Grand Slam? It, it must be obviously nerve-wracking, but you, you gain, even in defeat, gain so much experience out of it. Oh, yeah, you do. It's very different when you qualify and you win those three rounds of qualifying. It gives you a lot of confidence. And it's very different to play uh, in qualifying of a Grand Slam compared to the main draw. We've talked about, you know, the crowds and the, and the courts and, and where you get to play. So... Yeah, it's, it's a real bonus, I think, for your confidence if you can qualify at a Grand Slam. So she got a chance to do that a couple of months ago at the Perfect. US Open. I'm sure she would have learned a lot from that. It's also very nice to, to go to Grand Slams and big so WJ tournaments, so. which these girls haven't done so many, so, so many times yet. Right. But just to be around the top players as well and, and see what they do and... and, and their habits. Oh. There's a high quality point to start off proceedings. Well, that's a great first point. see with both girls here already very early on they're both just kind of testing each other out trying to make a lot of balls put a lot of balls in the court make each other play out 30-15 
Rocío. Forty, thirty. Nice strong serve down the tee. Bit of an arm wrestle this first game, but look with the advantage now. Game is over. just mixes up the serves as well. That one uh, wide First and day. accurate and leads one love. Solid first game from Sophia. Some good first serves. You mentioned the Wimbledon junior success for Zook. Sada Tomic Tusov. If anything, she's in that transition period, isn't she? Between juniors and the main seniors draw. That can be tough. It can be, yes. You are out of the juniors and playing those lower level ITF events. <laughs> trying to get your ranking up, trying to get into those Grand Slams and, and bigger WTA tournaments. Ah. 15 off. Already see we're going to have some clean hitting during this match this morning. And perhaps a little bit of overheating at times. Great serve. I think we'll see a few more of those today. She's got a, a very good serve, Sarah. Great placement, quite good pace on it as well. Oh, that's a great return, a great shot. But that was a very weak second serve, only 112 Ks an hour. It's going to have to be better than that. The placement wasn't great either, as we see here, right in the hitting zone. Ah! Great body serve. Solid first. One game more. First set. service game for Sarah. It was very important to get on the board early on in in, in the first set, especially first match of the tournament. Talked about how difficult it can be in those first matches of any event, but especially a Grand Slam and Grand Slam qualifying. Working some angles there, Zook. The open 
court just to caress it down the line. Oh, what a great shot. She was on the stretch herself, wasn't she? Great racket control. She wasn't really entitled to win the point at any no. stage, was she? Cramped up and then on the stretch. It was a great shot. Really worked the ball around in that point. Constructed the point. I like the fact that Sarah's out there ready to hit a lot of balls, not go for too much, especially early on. Sometimes she does like to really go for her shots. Great shot again, that forehand cross court. We've already seen it 14, a couple of times. Very really early on in this match. That's been a real highlight, hasn't it? A couple of zingers from the forehand side of Zook. Well, that's been a pretty impressive game from the Russian Zook youngster. Leads Zook leads 2-1. So it's Zook leading 2-1 and already Yelena Zook just going for the ice around the neck and keeping sure the fluids are up. It is getting pretty warm now, heading towards midday Melbourne time. Pretty humid and not a lot of breeze out there. Nowhere to hide. Yeah, it's getting quite warm out there. It's important to stay hydrated. a bit of uh, venom in that 169 kilometers an hour so strong serving from both players so far and that's perfect you mentioned Yelena she likes to keep the points short she does and she's got a good serve it's a few free points of that first serve Enough. Backhand really set up by that serve again.
Good, Tomek. So quick games on their service games Two for these all. players. Two Two all. If anything, Zook's been the player just to push it a bit too far with four unforced errors. But it's early days. He's got six winners, so yeah. not bad. Thank you. Can you please take a seat? Fortunately, during qualifying, there are no ushers in the arena, so spectators are being told to take their seats quickly. Full shot. Especially she was moving backwards. Exciting tennis to watch. Uh, two young left. players and some high quality tennis early on. Some great hitting from Zhuk. Really trying to be aggressive as well when she can. Thirty fifty. Great return. Talked about that back end. Mm. It's her strength. Great return there. talked about Sarah's movement and Sophia really needs to I think expose that like she did in that point it's a lovely winner from Zook Zook leads three games to two it's now three games to two but uh, plenty of solid ground strokes and plenty of winners. We're in for an entertaining hour or so. Day two of qualifying here at Melbourne Park as we zero in on show court three, Rod Laver Arena in the background. Yeah, roof open there. Some practice going on indoors with Margaret Court Arena as well. Great build up to the Australian Open with plenty of events around Australia. Had the Hopman Cup, of course, in Perth and Adelaide, Hobart, Sydney. Big tournament in Brisbane. 
Tennis World will be here on Monday for the first Grand Slam of the year. And in the end, Tomic just caught flat-footed right in the middle of the court. Well, we can see Ladies, the difference in footwork and movement already players. between thank these you. two players. Had the open court, Love really. Too. Had some time, and in the end, just hitting it straight back to Zook and overcooked it. Oh, that's a great return. Really stepped into Love that ball. It's a slow second serve, 132. And again, no placement on that second serve, right in the hitting zone of Sophia. So facing some break points here, Sarah Atomic. Let second service. Oh, not the best way to give away a game with a double fault. Zook and uh, Zook is really putting the hammer down at the moment, leading 4-2. Some other courts uh, in operation. 12 courts being used for qualifying today. Roberto Vinci, the 19th uh, seed in qualifying. Former Grand Slam finalist, of course, yeah. at the US Open. Copy Anna Blinkova me. from Russia is her uh, opponent. And uh, they've just... Uh, Commenced its one game all there. Nathan Baines from Australia against Danka Kovinich from Montenegro. He's currently 121 in the world. Fifth team off. At this stage, uh, Kovinich won the first set 6 3. Baines leads 5 4 in the second. And uh, Sarah Irani, number 20 seed, against Jing Jing Lu from China, 7-6 the first set for Irani, leads 5-3 in the second, so going well. Fifteen. British friends are Naomi Brody. 117 in the world's in a real battle as well. Out on court 14 against uh, Tinker von Deutschmann from Liechtenstein. 30-15. It's gone uh, into a, a tight second set after Brody won the first 7-6. Deutschman leads 6 5 in the second, so that's very tight. Life for service. Keep up to date uh, with all of those scores on the Australian Open website. Plenty of profiles on the players and also the streaming oh. of qualifying. Deep return. It's a great return from Sarah. Great shot. 30 40.
Gets a look at a break point here. After being broken herself in the previous game. Game topic. Does it well. That's a good little fight New back offense. from uh, Sarah Tomic. Zook leads 4-3. For game so far. First set. Called the umbrellas folded away by the hard working ball kids here at the Australian Open who had their big launch during the week. It's joined by Swiss star Stan Vavrinka. It was like a needle in a haystack surrounded by a hundred uh, kids with the orange outfits. They do a terrific job. Of course, the draw to be conducted tonight for the Australian Open main draw. There's so much going on around Melbourne Park in the lead-up to the Australian Open. Comic serving. Oh. 15 off. Great serve. Love. Talked about her serve and that it's definitely a weapon of hers. That's a third ace. Such an advantage, isn't it? Fourteen Especially love. when the uh, games get a bit more physical and deeper and, and it's hot just to get away with a cheap point now and then. And at the moment, Sophia just looks uh, to be struggling with reading the Tomic surf. Again, oh. Tomic. Well, again, got no read on that at all. And Tomic hits back and hits Plus back six. hard. What an intriguing first set we've had. It's for all. It's hard to pick a winner of the first yeah. set out of this. Yes, I thought Zook really lifted her game after those first few couple of games, but really gone down in, her last, in his last two games, a few unforced errors. Wide. 15 love. It's a little bit hard for the lines judge to uh, see through the body there of the Russian, but it's the right call. Some big points coming up here at four all. 13 love. A lovely swinging serve down the tee at 162 kilometres an hour. It's a second ace today. Fifteen. Just like looks like she's playing in a bit of a lull at the moment. Zook. 
Yeah, they started off well, and then the unforced errors have really increased these last couple games, especially for Zhuk. Yeah, she's up to double figures. Fifteen. Well, the idea was right. Be pretty relieved to just keep that score in her favour. Sook leads Zook five leads four first set. Five four first set. Sarah Tomic would be hoping for a similar service game that uh, she was able to inflict on Zook previously. A couple of uh, cracking serves, including an ace. She served three so far in the match. Love 50. Missed by that much, but it meant so much more at now Love 30. So a point from Zook made an opponent play a lot of balls. And using the court again. Ah! 15-14. It's just a bit too much. Bad idea. And in this situation for Tomic, is it easy for her to play to the score, if you know what I mean? She knows it's really tight, close to the end of the first set. Does she change her game as a result? I think she has to serve really 15, well. That's the goal for, for Sarah, I think, in this match. Which she's done at times, but at times she's also just thrown in a few, you know, really weak second serves which were attacked. Two set points. Left for service. First serve percentage 68%, Tomic, not ideal here. Got away with it. 
accurate second serve. It's a good return too, but really lost a footwork, Sophia, on that second shot. It's another chance. Oh, a bit of a chance here, second surf. Wild. Deuce. Really didn't need to go for that much. Didn't get it over the ball. Tomics played catch up in this first set, but she's done it well. Square it back to Deuce. Certainly on the run early in that point. It was off her racket. Again, just going for too much, Jacques, here. Really didn't need to be that good of a shot. She had Tomic on the run. Again, Tomic. That's a good hold, isn't it? Done well. Set point Five down. Games First set. So the pressure back on Sophia. So topsy turvy first set. You can tell by the spectators uh, they're strategically placed towels. It's pretty warm out there now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Not up. Fifteen off. Six times Zook has approached the net. She's won the point five times. And those six. It's really nice play. Nice volley. Ah. Well, that's that forehand that can go Let's off see. a little Love. bit sometimes. Saw it right there. Really didn't close the racket and get over the ball. She pre-warned us about that one. Oh, that's her first double fault of the match. It was a feeble second serve at 130 kilometres an hour. I had to make her hit a few more balls off a second serve. Yeah.
hot shot from Tomic. 40 30. Really using the court. Much better forehand that time. Oh, needed that. Great serve. 167 kilometres down the tee, and Zook just six stays in front. Importantly on the scoreboard, 6-5. We've seen this match just go through lulls. Zook, in the middle of the set, was just striking everything beautifully, and then she's gone through a little bit of a lull. It, is that something that gets better with age is that ability to just stay up and concentrate for the entire match because I think it's a natural thing that a player will go through a bit of a concentration lapse at some point of a, a long match yeah but not that early on so I think it's more uh, the rust I think it's the, really? yeah. the beginning of the season uh, they haven't had a lot of matches this year especially these girls going into qualifying they haven't played too many events uh, the off season everyone's coming you know, from the off season, and uh, I think everyone's just a little, a little bit rusty. We've seen a couple matches already, both the men and the women. It uh, it goes up and down a little bit. Yeah, it has been really hard to predict anything in this first set. But for Zook, I think she's at times maybe just a little Time. bit confused on what she should do, whether she should be aggressive or, you know, maybe rally a little bit sometimes. Well, I'm sure Zook's leaving the chair at this point thinking, well, I almost got her on serve last time. So she must have an opportunity here at 6-5. She has had some trouble reading the atomic serve. But the pressure back on Tomic here at 5-6. Tomic's had some easy service games, hasn't she? And then the previous was a real battle. A lot really depends on that first serve. We've seen that a couple of times today. Love she likes to attack that second serve. And Sarah's second serve, again there, only 129 kilometers an hour. But what's worse is the placement isn't there. It's right in the hitting zone. Collection was good for service. Mm, that was close. Well, another really great deep oh, return. <laughs> that was really flirting that time. I it, it was almost out. <laughs> Even Tomic had a look at the uh, lines. He wasn't mm -hmm. sure. Here we go. Three set points. Zook. So in the end, it was 7-5 seven seven for Sophia Zook and Sarah Tomic. All of a sudden, in two service games, has something to think about.
the junior Wimbledon winner from a couple of years ago, Sophia Sook, takes the first set 7-5. So the first set summary, first serve percentages relatively similar but could be better. But look at the winners, 15 to 5, Zook ahead of Tomic. Unforced errors, uh, pretty similar. But just in the end, Zook overpowering Tomic uh, with those winners. Yeah, Zook's, well, she's pretty solid. Uh, 15 unforced errors, 15 winners. But for Sarah, Tomic, only five winners and 13 unforced errors. And I think for Sarah, the key, she wasn't able to really serve well in the key moments. And in the end, it was just too solid. A little bit of a better mover too. It's more aggressive. And in the end, really just played the bigger points a lot better. Some of the highlights in the first set and Right from the start, it was clean hitting, quality tennis. A couple of service games going awry for Sarah Tomic late in the piece. And even though Zook started off really well, she seemed to just uh, lose a bit of intensity late uh, in the piece, but has really scrapped it out well in the first set. Keeping that uh, ice around her neck is a Sophia Zook keeping hydrated pretty warm conditions now local time uh, here in Melbourne to keep you updated wherever you're watching us uh, around the world it, uh, it's just past midday humid still day no breeze at all plenty of trees around show court three here and uh, they're not budging the matches on this court today. Sasha Vickery from the USA, the number one seed in qualifying. We'll face Leslie Kirko from Netherlands. Lin Zhu from China, the number three seed to face Louisa Chirico from the USA. And then not before three o'clock local time, men's second round qualifying, Cameron Norrie from Great Britain Number six seed against John Patrick Smith from Australia. And uh, later on in the evening, Bradley Mousley from Australia up against Ricardo Ojeda Lara from Spain. Roberto Vinci is out on court five at the moment against Blinkova from Russia. It's three all there. So uh, that uh, is in its early stages. 19th seed in qualifying is uh, Roberto Vinci. Name uh, familiar to you all, I'm sure. There is the scene at, uh, at Melbourne Park. As uh, we've had uh, a bathroom break by the looks of it from uh, Sarah Tomic. Busy time around Melbourne Park. The preparations are continuing here for the uh, Australian Open starting on Monday, but also 12 courts operating with qualifying. Practice going on everywhere as well. Very exciting time. It's not quite the calm before the storm, but really uh, exciting time. Fifty So, we're into the second set. Just a bit more intensity here from Zhuk than there is from Tomic. A little bit more energy, better footwork right now. Oh! 
13, love. A good sign, bit of body language there. Fist pump, two points into the second set. Making sure concentration levels are nice and high. After winning the first. It's only her second double fault today. Deep hitting. She'll be Fourteen, disappointed 30. with that miss. It's the second serve. Had a slow second serve, 134 kilometers an hour, and uh, an unforced error at 30 all. So a disappointing result there. Game is Zook. Beautiful serve up the middle, and she leaves First one game, love Zook in the second set. The, the atomic movement. She's really moving her around the court a lot. As soon as she gets a chance, she's attacking that second serve as well. to see a little bit more intensity from from Sarah even that last drive volley just come up to that ball a bit quicker Great point from Jok. Some unbelievable hitting and some unbelievable 15, angles. 15. A beautiful forehand that just scraped over the net. It was magnificent. Seven forehand winners. And she's got 17 winners and 16 unforced errors. And for Sarah, still only five winners and 15 unforced errors. It's a big difference. Thirteen. Great serve from Sarah. Great placement. Certainly uh, a part of her weaponry that helps. 
You mentioned a bit of a constant theme of lack of movement. Is that something that you can change along the time or, or even train for? Oh, yeah, you can certainly work on your movement, footwork and movement. That's what I really think Sarah needs a little bit more work on. That's a terrific shot considering Sook was wrong footed. 30, 40. Brings up a break point in fine style. See, there's a lot more movement in, in Juk's game. There's a lot more energy, a lot more footwork. Deuce. the right side to go to. Just opened up too early with that right side, with that right shoulder. Instead of going through the ball a bit more. Great return. Advantage, Tomic. First serves, strong first serves. Gain the advantage for Tomic. Game and again, from Tomic. Served her way out of a little bit of trouble there, and it's one all. One game all, second set. Great shot. Well, she plays really well when she's aggressive, and th sometimes I think she goes between being aggressive and being maybe a little bit too tentative. And then she backs off if she makes a couple of mm. errors mm. and then gets too defensive. So I think it's just about finding that balance for Zhuk. That was her 18th winner, and for the match, that was her eighth on the forehand side. Fifteen. Bunt into the net that time from Tomic. Well, that was pure footwork, really. Didn't get around the ball quick enough. Fox. 
Gifting a couple of points here to Zook. So Zook holds and Zook leads two it's two one, one, seven and just stays in front like she did in the first set. So Zhuk leads 2-1 as the clock's about to tick over to an hour. Lena Dokic in co-commentary. Closing the atomic movement, 15. especially on that forehand side. Out on court five, and a blink of it from Russia against Roberto Vinci from Italy, the number 19 seed. 5 3 blink of a leads Vinci. Service pressure here for Tommy. Oh. Oh, played that one. Tammy Patterson, number 344 in the world for Australia, is out on court as well. Court seven, just next door here from uh, show court three, up against Yasseline Bonaventure from Belgium. So it's early stages there, but it's 2-1 for the 
the Belgian. So out on court for Australia is Kimberly Birrell. 349 in the world against from China. Jean. That's just starting as well. So the Aussies out in force. So Tomic in a bit of trouble here, facing a break point. She did brilliantly to stay in the point and then wear down Tomic eventually and it's 3-1. New balls, please. That's a great point. Zook leads three games to one, second set. She's been really putting a lot of pressure on the Tomic serve in the last couple of games. You can see really good body language there. Mm, keep going, she said to herself. Really good to see, especially from a young player, I think. Mm. Um, that she's aware of that, she's, you know, pushing herself, very positive. Really good quality to have, especially as an 18-year-old. And new balls for Zook, which can only help. better footwork a lot better energy coming from the Russian and I think it's really making a difference in this match oh. no movement there of the feet at all just landed there and whacked it here another come on from Shuk looking really confident now in the second set Love. Well, what about the body language? You've got Tomic just sauntering along the baseline and Zook's just up and about. Great Zook. shot. She does well. Backhand winner number five. And one, even sets. that errant serve but at 170 kilometres an hour that missed by a long way is an indication that she's just out there attacking everything. She leads 4-1. So a real challenge here for Sarah Tomic. Zook certainly has the wind in her sails at the moment. Beautiful shot of Melbourne Town. Plenty of 
plenty of activity in Melbourne around the tennis. Plenty of action off the court as well. Plenty of entertainment. You can even sign Yelena Dokic's new book. <laughs> or at least get her to sign it. Ah! How's it going? It's going great. Yeah? yeah. Did you enjoy the process of it? I did. Yeah. I did. It was definitely... Uh, a great experience at times obviously tough it's yeah, not of an easy thing to, to yeah. write a book and and uh going through all of those experiences almost you know reliving them had you kept a diary along the way no. or little notes no? no so you just had to relive everything yeah yeah, yeah. and uh yeah look uh, at times it was hard but it was yeah. also really good at times really therapeutic especially when the book came out so yeah, yeah. it's been amazing Been received really well. And you'll be signing it here Best at the tennis? Seller. Yeah, we'll be selling at the merchandise shops right. here, which is the uh, first time ever a book's been in the merchandise shops in Aust uh, yeah, at the Australian fantastic. Open. So it's really, really great Best to have fits. that and, and for Tennis Australia um, yeah. to make that happen. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing book signings, especially the first week of the Open, so next week. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's really exciting. I think it's perfect. In the hot weather, <laughs> go and buy a hat, <laughs> some sunscreen and a book. <laughs> oh, that's a great shot. Well, we talked about these players, you know, being young, up and coming, 15, especially 14. Sophia. She's a Wimbledon junior champion from two years ago. And that transition period, going mm. from juniors into pros, and, and she's playing a lot of... She's oh. playing a lot of lower level ITF 13, events, and just trying to make her, her way into that WTA uh, main draws and getting her ranking in the top 100. And uh, But I know one thing that I like, really like about her I like her attitude, I like how positive she is, great body language. I like her intensity as well. Well, even yeah, in the lulls sense. that she's experienced in this match, she hasn't been negative at all. She hasn't been no. uh, demonstrative or mm. even negative on herself. She's just kept going. No, she got in a, almost in a bit of trouble in that first mm. set when, when she did have a break, but was broken back. And, and you know, she stayed positive. Let's. There was a bit of emotion that we saw come out, but all for me in a, in a really positive way. She's got a good attitude. As I said, I love her body language and, and the way that she goes about this match. You know, she's put her head down and really competed when she needed to. Hasn't played her best at times, but she competes, which is, as I said, really nice to see for someone who's who's 18. overran that a little bit yeah, and she knew as soon as she hit yeah. it yeah just lifted her body up didn't stay with the shot had a bit of an opportunity there she had two break points to go up two breaks and serve for the match great shot she made look that she made that look a lot easier than it was. That was a very difficult shot, deep and high. She almost had to pivot her body as right she was hitting it, didn't she? Yeah, that is a great shot. Nice shot. He's certainly had some highlights during this match. There's a few in the reel. There's another one and brings up 5-1 a chance to serve it out with her 10th forehand winner. 
It's a real difference in the unforced errors and winners count. Well, Jukes at 23 winners and 21 unforced errors, pretty good number. But Serotomic only six winners and 25 unforced errors. serving from the far end on the forehand side here straight into the sun gets away with it at 15 love Guy there, you see the sun just upsetting her a little bit. It's only her second double fault today, so it might just be the sun. It's a great serve. See how she goes on the forehand side this time. Her fifth ace of the match. Good deep 13, return. Foxy. I think you're definitely struggling with the sun on this side now. Struggling in general, I think both uh, do some advantage court from that end. But uh, Tomek gains uh, a much needed game 5 2 in favour of Zhuk. Day two of qualifying continues at the Australian Open 2018 and we're seeing the Wimbledon Junior Champion of 2015, Sophia Zuck, up against the Australian Sarah Tomic. We've seen in qualifying here at the Australian Open over a few years and now Tomic has to face the sun on the far side serving.
great use of the court, really smart. 15 all. Much better point from Zhuk. Made a couple errors again in this last game, game and a half. That was a much better point. Clean ground strokes from Zhuk. Forcing the error, and now the finish line is near. It's a great deep return 15, from Zhuk. Two match points for the Wimbledon Junior Champion. at times it's been a real comprehensive second set performance from Sophia Zook Wimbledon junior champion making her way through the grades and she'll be happy with that first round qualifying victory over Sarah Tomic 7-5 6-2 yes yeah, solid match for her struggled a little bit that second part of the first set a little bit nervous um, closing out that first set but really picked up her game in the second the second set. And uh, look, like I said, I, I like her attitude. I like her intensity and, uh, and, and her body language. Solid game, uh, you know, really solid mover. So I'll be interested to see what she does in the next couple of years. For Sarah, well, look, uh, another, I think, learning experience, yeah. you know. Got a, got a chance to play in the Australian Open qualifying again. And uh, look, there are, there are things to work on. There are some positive, thing, positive things she can, she can take out of this match. But um, yeah, look, I think for her, just keep on, you know, working hard and, and work on that, that movement a little bit on that forehand. And it's, I think, the little things for her. Um, you know, she hits the ball, you know, really clean and, and it's got a solid serve. So I think just continue, you know, playing and going through those ITF level events. And she's still young, you know, she's 19 or, or 20 in a couple of weeks time. That's it. And I'm sure she'll have plenty more chances to try and qualify, especially here at the Australian Open. A telling graphic there moments ago, 25 winners for Sophia Zuk as we see match point again. But there's that attitude, that fist pump, positive uh, attitude throughout and uh, a happy team behind Sophia Zuk. 25 winners uh, for the match and some real X-Factor moments uh, there that uh, was in the highlights reel.